welcome to the new topic magnetic effect of current see whenever a current is flowing in a conductor see current what is current current is equal to charge flowing in a in a given time that is called current it means current means current flowing through a conductor means charge is flowing through a conductor now this will produce a current carrying conductor that is a conductor this is a conductor in which current is flowing from current is flowing up to from down to up whenever a current is flowing in a conductor it will produce a magnetic field around it with the conductor as its center and it will produce a magnetic magnet around it the space around see it means magnet means it will have a certain quality that is the space what is magnetic field the space around a magnet within which its influence can be experienced how see if you are bringing a magnetic needle if there is a deflection in the magnetic field deflect in the magnetic needle it means there exists a magnetic field around this area and that area is called magnetic field so the magnetism is created here that is magnetism is produced due to electric current flowing in a conductor is called magnetic effect of electric current or electromagnetism so we produce magnetism with the help of electricity that is called electromagnetism a moving charge or a current create a magnetic field in the space in the surrounding space moving charge this is the moving charge charge is moving it will create a magnetic field around it in the form of concentric circles in the form of concentric circles so magnet is a vector quantity it means it will have a magnitude as well as it will have its direction so a current carrying conductor produce a magnetic field around it so the magnetic field consists of concentric circles of magnetic field lines this is called magnetic field lines magnetic field lines with the conductor with the conductor with the conductor with conductor at its center the magnetic field lines will be in the form of concentric circle with conductor at the center of the circular magnetic fields of force and it will be the magnetic field produced will be at right angle to the conductor this is the conductor the magnetic field is produced like this it means the angle between the, this magnetic field lines and this is 90 degree that is a right angle so you can say the magnetic field consists of concentric circles of magnetic field lines with the conductor and at right angle with the conductor and the conductor being the center of the concentric circle now second thing we have to see near than this is the magnetic field produced in this direction also we will see so near the conductor this is near the conductor the magnetic circle the magnetic circle near the magnetic field near the conductor is stronger and becomes weaker and weaker as we go up, move away and away from the conductor it means the magnetic field is will be weaker than the magnetic field at this point it means the magnetic field near the conductor is stronger and becomes weaker as the distance from the conductor increases and larger is the current strong is larger is the current if the current flowing suppose this is i1 and later we send i2 i1 is less than i2 this will produce a magnetic field we denote by b b1 this will produce a magnetic field v2 larger the current flowing in the conductor stronger is the magnetic field and this magnetic field so the magnetic field so produced because of the current flowing in a conductor is always give a force on a charge on a moving charge or current in the field suppose in the magnetic field if a charge if a charge is moving that charge will experience a force due to this magnetic field we have already seen 
a current carrying conductor this is a conductor this is a conductor current is flowing upward direction current is flowing upward direction the magnetic field lines are produced like this so now we have to find out the that is i is equal to q by t it means charge charge in motion that we call it as current current is nothing but charge flowing in a given time the motion of charge is called current a stationary as we have seen in electrostatic a stationary charge suppose your charge is placed here it will produce electric field around it it can which is if it is positive charge from positive charge it will the electric field lines will go will start from positive charge and go out so a stationary charge can produce only electric field this is point to be noted stationary charge produce only electric field we produce only electric field around it but a moving charge moving charge suppose this is called moving charge because current is moving so charge is moving but a moving charge moving charge that is electric current produce what else it will produ produce electric field around it electric field around it as well as this will produce electric field around it and as well as a magnetic field in the form of as well and magnetic field which we term it as an electromagnetism a stationary charge produce only electric field around it but a moving charge that is electric current produce electric field and also magnetic field when a current carrying conductor produce a magnetic field now we should know that this is a magnetic field lines mag it is a magnetic field lines we should field line of force so we should be able to know what is the direction of what is the direction of magnetic field lines when a current carrying conductor produce a magnetic field the direction of magnetic field is found using right hand grip rule right hand grip rule see here the so many rules will come that is a current carrying conductor will produce magnetism and that magnetism will give you a force on a moving charge so the direct it is a vector quantity the force is a vector quantity we should know the direction of force now here the direction of magnetic field is produced by the means we have to find out the direction of magnetic field how so how let us see assume this is the wire current is flowing from bottom to top it means the current is flowing from bottom to top and around it around this the cons in the form of concentric circles magnetic field field lines is produced so how to find out the direction of magnetic lines of force this gives mag direction of magnetic lines of force lines of force that is direction which is given by right hand grip rule this is very basic rule we must have seen in the 10th classes also so how to find out this is the wire grip the wire in which the current is flowing grip the wire with right hand with right hand so we are gripping with with thumb facing in the direction of current thumb in the direction of current so we are gripping like this with the thumb in the direction of current this is called curl of the finger curl of the finger this is called curl of the finger so grip the wire with the right hand grip the this is wire grip the wire with the thumb and with the thumb pointing in the direction of current 
the curl of the finger the curl this is the curl curl of the finger if you are gripping like this this is curl of the finger points in the direction of magnetic lens of force it means here when you are gripping the curl will come like this so this is the direction of magnetic field lens of force which is a concentric circle concentric circles circles so now here the problem comes whether current is moving in the upward we have used if the current is moving in the downward direction current is moving in the downward direction this is the how the current is flowing now here how so exactly it will produce in the form of concentric circle it will produce in the form of circle but now the direction of the magnetic field lines will change here you see the magnetic field lines is like this when the current is in the upward direction now this is the conductor current is flowing from top to bottom so we will give with the right hand we will grip with the thumb in the direction of current in the direction of current the curl will come like this like this so like this means exactly this way the curl will come this it means this way is the direction of magnetic field lines force the concentric circles so for upward direction in the conductor the direction of magnetic field lines of force is in one direction and for downward it is here this is in, in this direction so it will be first it will be like this now it is like this so for downward current in the conductor the direction of magnetic lines of force is in opposite direction the magnetic lines of force always form a closed loop irrespective of the current direction if the current is flowing this way as are this way the magnetic field lines always will form a closed loop that is closed circle whether current is flowing upward direction or downward direction doesn't matter but only thing in the upward direction uh, we grip like this with the right right hand grip this is the direction of current in the downward direction we grip like this thumb in the direction of current the direction will be this way this way only thing there will be change in the direction of magnetic field lines of force but there will not be the the magnetic field line will always form a closed loop around the conductor with the conductor at its center for the circular magnetic lines of force and nearer to the conductor the magnetic field lines for field lines are stronger and we move away from the conductor the magnetic field that is magnetic lines of force and hence the magnetic field become more and more weaker